Is it time to replace my ProConnect cartridge? There are three reasons to pull a cartridge off. Number one, there's spitting coming from the end of the gun at the end of a D-trigger. Number two, there's one chemical coming from the end of the gun. And number three, there's no chemical coming from the end of the gun. If the gun is spitting, we can take this cartridge off and toss it. But remember, before we grab a new cartridge and install it, we need to inspect the mixed chamber sealing surface and impingement ports before a new cartridge is installed. If we have one or no chemicals coming out the end of the gun, we have a decision to make. We can troubleshoot. If you have time to troubleshoot, we'll get to that in a minute. If you don't have time, we can take this cartridge off, hibernate it in compatible oil, and grab a new one. But before we install the new cartridge, make sure we inspect the mixed chamber, sealing surface, and impingement ports. Back to troubleshooting. We're going to install the divider tool, and this prevents crossover splatter from the A side to the B side. We're going to take the grease tool. We're going to be pumping grease through the A port. Grease will come through the side seal into the mixed chamber bore. If it goes through the A side, we'll take it off and put it on the B side. We'll be pumping grease through the B side, through the side seal, and into the mixed chamber bore. If grease does not go through the cartridge, the cartridge is bad, we can toss it and grab a new one. But remember, again, before we install a new cartridge, inspect the mixed chamber sealing surface and impingement ports. If grease comes through the cartridge, the cartridge is not the problem. We can reinstall it onto the gun, and we can go check other restriction points in the system before we begin spraying.